Hi, this is Peter from GameOfTrades.net. This market is absolutely crazy, and I'm here to help you navigate through it every step of the way. Now, this video is going to focus on the shorter term price action of the S&P 500. If you're interested in the longer term picture, make sure to check out our latest video to find out when we're going to potentially be seeing a long term top in the stock market. By the way, this video was sponsored by Squarespace. So make sure to stick around to the end of the video because I'm going to talk about them a little bit more. Now let's focus in on the broader picture of what's going on right now with the price action. This is the broader picture. We have a large period of consolidation in price. We have a breakout here, a back test of that consolidation and a resumption of the uptrend. So putting back up my levels, it's important for you to remind yourself of the broader technical picture and not get caught up in these small moves. I'm seeing a lot of people panic over just a couple of red days just because the S&P 500 is breaking down a minor uptrend line. For now, there is no reason to panic. Corrections are part of uptrends. Can we see a much larger drop right now? Absolutely. Anything is possible. But do we think that's a high probability scenario right now? No. But that's why we have stop losses. This is the red line. And this is where the bullish structure of the stock market becomes damaged, right? We have this consolidation, breakout, backtest, if we come back down below into back below this level, that makes this a false breakout and opens the door for much more downside. And this is where we'll be looking for shorting opportunities like we were during the month of February and March. But for now, that's far from being the case. In fact, we've highlighted a few support levels where we could see a bounce from this correction. And right now it seems the stock market is holding above just the first support level that we highlighted. So this is definitely strong price action. We're going to see how this develops. It can still lead to a short term correction to these levels. And that could be buying opportunities for traders looking to position long for the last move up on the S&P 500. Right now, we're still long on the S&P 500 with a stop loss right here at that red line. Now, something else we wanted to cover in this video is the MACD. Let's take a look at this momentum indicator. We use it a lot in our trading. Look at what's happening right now on the MACD. Bearish crossover right there. That suggests that momentum is switching from bullish to bearish. Is that something we should be worried about. Look at what happened the last two times we had that reading. Massive drop in the stock market right there. So is that something we should be worried about right now? And I can tell you a lot of people are taking this as a sell signal, right? And I can tell you that because I used to be an aggressive short trader and seeing a bearish crossover on the MACD is definitely something to look for for a short sell signal, but we're going to take a look at this from a different angle today. And I'm going to divide this uptrend right here, this recent uptrend into separate rallies. I'm going to put rectangles highlighting each different rally. So the first rally was obviously this one that ended here in June with that blow off top. Second rally started around here once it broke out above the consolidation and ended with the blow off top in September. And the third rally is right here, started October. And right now we've broken out. You can say it started after the breakout like it did right here. And we're so far in a rally. So now we can take a look at these crossovers during these green periods, right? Because that's our thesis. We've had a consolidation. Now we've broken out. We're no longer in that consolidation range. So we shouldn't treat price as if it was in consolidation. We should treat it as if it was in an uptrend like here and like here. And you'll notice right here, we had a major whipsaw signal on the MACD. And in fact, this is something that caught us off guard back in March. We got trapped by the signal. We had a bull trap thesis that this was the first leg of the bear market and that the bull trap was going to reverse at resistance. It looked like that was going to be the case, but look at what happened. We had a bear trap and a fake whipsaw signal on the MACD and we got squeezed out of our position. Now, second time around in this green box and this rally, we had the same thing, but this time we knew what the market was doing. We kept our long position. We stayed long here 
and we stayed long here. We had another bear trap right there and we only sold our positions once we had that bearish engulfing candle. So now we have the same signal. Is it a whipsaw signal? Is it the real deal? Make sure to comment down below what you think, whether you think this is a significant top or just a small correction before more upside on the stock market. Now, as you probably realize from everything we've said in this video and everything we've said in all our videos, we still maintain a bullish bias on the stock market in the very short term. Now we have zero positions in our investments in stocks, but in the short term, we do have a long trade and we do think that this is just a small pullback that's gonna be heading higher in just a few days. Can we be wrong? Yes, that's why we have a stop loss. Now the next thing I wanted to look at is the put call ratio. And what's happening on the put call ratio is actually quite promising. And this is what I'm talking about when I'm saying that there's a lot of people going short on this small, tiny move. A lot of people panicking out of their long positions on this small move, which really should not be panicking anyone. The put call ratio was overextended for a few days right here. And we said over and over again that the stock market is risky, right? We're not selling our positions. It's not a sell signal, but we don't think it's a good idea for anyone to enter new positions. It's a very risky place to be. Right now, the stock market is less risky. There's much less complacency in the market right now than just a few days ago. And I want to highlight that with a few zones. I'm going to put a red zone right here. This is where you don't buy the stock market. When the put call ratio is at these levels, it means everyone is long nobody's short. It's a risky time to enter new positions in the market. You shouldn't be selling all your positions as soon as the ratio is low, but you shouldn't be entering new positions here. And now we have a second zone here. This is the green zone. This is where you can consider the put call ratio to be at normal levels, especially during an uptrend. And so this is where we position for our long trade on the S&P 500 just before the elections, we saw this put call ratio elevated. We saw the stock market was at support. And so we made a trade on gameoftrades.net with three nice targets capturing that bottom. By the way, if you want to access this charting platform, make sure to click the link in the description below. Now to wrap up this video, I just want to go ahead and warn investors, right? This is a video from a trading standpoint. We also make longer term videos, but we have zero positions in the stock market long term. So if we get stopped out here on this trade, we'll have absolutely no positions in the stock market. Our only active position is a trading position. From an investment standpoint, we've covered over and over again, the valuations don't make sense. We don't want to be trying to preserve our long term capital by buying something that's extremely expensive. And somebody asked me in the trading room the other day on gameoftrades.net whether it's possible that the stock market just continues going higher despite these extreme valuations. And we replied, yes, anything is possible. Nobody has a crystal ball. Nobody can tell you whether the stock market's going to crash tomorrow or the day after. All you can do is assess the risk assess the reward and position accordingly. And right now we're not willing to risk putting our capital in the stock market. We only do it from a trading standpoint because we're confident in our ability to manage our risk with stop losses and our position sizing. So trying to time the market is possible, but only for traders, only for professional traders who are able to manage their positions in case they are wrong. Investors don't put stop losses in their trades. Investors just accumulate more and more at a lower price if they're wrong. There is a big, big difference between those two. And that's very important to understand. And there's absolutely better opportunities out there than the stock market. We already accumulated Bitcoin from October with our bull market investment setup, talking about the fact that the bull market was beginning right there in October, and there's still plenty of room to run. And we're looking for accumulation opportunities right now on Bitcoin for our new members. And there's still plenty of room to run, and we're currently looking for potential buy zones for accumulation of Bitcoin 
for our members on Game of Trades. We've also positioned into precious metals and we'll be looking for opportunities in the emerging markets with the coming bull market in commodities. Now, we wanted to thank Squarespace for sponsoring this video. We really love what these guys are doing to help content creators, entrepreneurs, artists, and really anyone who wants to build an online presence. It's an all-in-one platform. You can use their designer award-winning templates to create your own website, your own blog, or your own online store. Squarespace really takes care of everything for you. There's nothing to install, nothing to patch or to upgrade, and they have a 24 seven customer service at your disposal. So if you want to give it a try, make sure to click in the link down below to access their website. Now that's about all I wanted to cover in this video. If you enjoyed, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. In the meantime, good luck on your trading and see you next time.